And I remember saying to him, that's amazing. Like, so efficient with the football. And Brian Kelly at the time said, yeah, not necessarily a good thing. He's very happy about that ratio. And he'll get the, field, the football to begin. A little muff on the kickoff as AM won the toss and deferred. And he'll throw on first down. And he's going to take a shot downfield into double coverage, hoping for Brian Thomas Jr. Well, that was and you're going to see Jacoby Matthews. They're trying to get that two for one there with the Adams defense number seven in America. Stopping teams on third down. And it looks like they've got Mason Taylor stopped right here into the slot. He's out of the pocket with room to run. Looking for the line to gain and gets tripped up by Harold Perkins. Short. After a game, not on the field for fourth down and two as AM goes for it. Dropping the football, the tight end, Max Wright. Should have been an easy fourth down pickup. Instead, LSU gets the benefit of the doubt. And the long throw from Daniels to Malik Neighbors. Stays on his feet. Tough to bring down. Malik Neighbors fights his way. Daniels, pocket collapsing, avoids the set, tucks it under, the C's part, he's to the 15-yard line, out of bounds inside the 10, first and goal, LSU. He gets some more highs in the stats, but he's not afraid to hand this ball off to his running back and let him do, do the work. Uh, he Watch that back. fade. They motion Brian Thomas, and instead on the dive up the middle, Logan Diggs is in for an LSU touchdown. We talked about it, Bob. Not afraid to hand the football off because at the end of the day, the most important thing he has to do to allow the LSU Tigers to walk out of here with a win. And right there, he makes the perfect read, allowing Logan to drop on fourth down by the tight end, Max Wright. That gives LSU the short field. I don't think that's a secret to anyone all year, but they've really struggled against mobile quarterbacks. And that's something that Jalen Henderson brings to the table for this offense that maybe Connor Wigman and Max Johnson did not. Quarterback draw. Going nowhere. Henderson brought down behind the line as Braden Swinson. And David Belly Jr. stays in the game. Takes the handoff. Cut down inside the two. Uh Moss walks into the end zone for an AM and touchdown. Le'Veon Moss untouched. 17 plays, 9 minutes and 9 seconds. Um, Watch how much, how much easier that makes it for Le'Veon Moss when he takes his carry. The defense is sealed. He can... Roll today because that's their best way to win. Ruben Owens, a gain of only a yard. May get three points here. He'll take it. Bond from 48. Plenty of distance. And he's got it. So after Texas A&M brings an edge blitz. Jaden Daniels up the middle. He's got a first down. And he grinds out a few extra yards. Gets tossed out of bounds. That'll tack on 15 more. Damani Richardson costs his team. Oh. Play action for Daniels. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. Laying out. Unable to haul it in was Malik Neighbors. Flag. You certainly. On that, we've got a close one here after the injury timeout. Spinning out of trouble is Jaden Daniels. Still on his feet down inside the 25 to the 24-yard line before the injury timeout. Daniels goes his way, and Neighbors spins, breaks a tackle with a stiff arm. He's got a first down. Close to 130 yards per contest. And this is why. Watch the beautiful route, catches it outside his frame, and then it's the run after the catch. Punch set with Mason Taylor, the tight end. Screen out to Thomas. Makes a man miss inside the 10. After the LSU timeout, third down inside the seven-yard line. Daniels on a roll now. Front right pylon, touchdown Malik Neighbors. Wide open. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy right there for this LSU offense. The 13th touchdown. 
as he continues to build the Heisman resume. Five-yard out route as Jaden Daniels is sprinting that way towards him. Easy. Hey, and Malik is always there for his quarterback. As we get a look from our progressive pylon cam. Henderson runs into the pressure and now runs away from it. Gets tripped up. What a terrific play by Ovi Agufo. Just this moment and the quarterback goes to your side. Just keep chasing him down. Get yeah. Henderson wide open down the sideline. Easy pitch and catch first down. Jalen Henderson's roommate, Jade Walker, wide open on the corner route. This AM offense and Bobby Petrino is putting the game in jail. To see if St. Ryan will be able to stay in this game. Coming off of the guy that he was guarding to hit Noah Thomas. Uses the shoulder, hits him in the. And Noah Thomas was actually able to get a foot down and get his eyes to Sage Ryan. So, a very hard hit, but it doesn't look like it's targeting based off of the rules. Of Spinning out is Henderson. Underneath, Jake Johnson. At the pylon, he's in, it looks like. For a touchdown for Texas a and Who needs a timeout? <laughs> How about their two touchdown drives? 17 plays and 13 plays. Get the football back to Jake Johnson, who is on the same side. Now, if Whit Weeks hadn't forced Jalen Henderson to get that ball out, there's a good chance he would have continued to run on the outside and work through his, through his progression. But a nice little run. And then, of course, Bob, you love this angle, don't you? Our progressive pylon kick. And then all the different elements of what this a and offense can be. Play action. Henderson on the move. He's going to heave a jump ball down the sideline. And he finds his man. Terrific adjustment to the football by John A. Walker. Who's got a good job by Jalen Henderson giving his receiver a chance down the field. They run it with Moss. Cuts it back to the five. And that stood up there. Ready on Moss, is the eye back, but he'll dive in ahead with the up back. Is it Mark Naboo? And he's across for a touchdown as they gave it to the left guard. <laughs> is that big man touchdown for Texas a and I am on a set on Monday Night Foot by the name of Marcus Spears, and this is certainly a big man bowling type of moment. Mark Naboo, go on with your back. Caleb Jackson on a kickoff return. Out across the 25. Supposed to be the ultimate team sport. I guess this is a soapbox moment. How do you tell the other hundred guys on the team yeah. that everything Mason Taylor was in motion? Daniels out of the pocket. He's gonna run for it and get it and then so. Daniels down the sideline. Finally wrestled out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Not only is a fourth down conversion, situation for LSU after a 49 yard run. Talked about that game breaking speed that he has, and when he sees green grass, that man is moving. Almost fell down territory at this point for LSU. We're about to find out. Yeah, if it's going to be. A Daniels, again, quarterback run. Spins down to the one yard line. Gets a push, and that's where. Zone read, out the middle into the end zone, Josh Williams, touchdown, flag down at the line of scrimmage. And very unselfish play here by Jaden Daniels. Make the read that you're supposed to. And Jaden Daniels knows that handing the football off was the best decision in that moment. Eight on his injured leg at all. Back to the offense. Texas A&M, Amari Daniels picks up about three. And Chris Button, we're just talking about Elijah. And his team locked in in those times in practice, and it seems to be paying off. Out on the edge, Ruben Owens, tracked down by Whit Weeks. But again, it's third. The entire game. 
Anderson stutter steps and throws it away. So now it's a third down and long in the red zone. Walker, Smith, and Thomas out to the right. Quarterback draw. Anderson broke down. Harold Perkins didn't buy the fake. A 32. No good. He pushed it right. So not only does LSU get the stop, it comes away empty. They, they didn't want it to go wide right like that. Can't get out and use his legs. Anaya Smith doesn't call for a fair catch and gets spun down. And a little something extra after the play is over. Couldn't make it. So here's Jalen Henderson looking for another third down conversion. And he throws an interception. Greg Penn able to haul it in. And the first takeaway for the LSU defense. Play action for Jaden Daniels. Over the middle. Wide open Chris Hilton. His first catch inside the 25 yard line. Before very, very good. Delicious. Jaden Daniels looking for the end zone. Touchdown. Brian Thomas Jr. does it again from 23. Well, you saw the Heisman at halftime that we just showed you. And Jaden Daniels is going to have to have a Heisman type finish. But. Sounds like you're continuing to enjoy your two Duncan. I'm trying. 28 turn it into seven. Watch how Brian Thomas goes up and monsters this man in what you call high pointing the football. A rollout. Avoids a sack. Throws it away. Got outside. Watch this hit at the very end. Shamar Stewart with the miss. So a third down conversion via penalty. Another blitz. One on one for neighbors. He's got it. Touchdown. Oh my goodness. By Malik Neighbors. Oh my goodness. Wait till you see this one. Here, but it looked like he was to me. Here's the catch. There's the foot. In college football, you only need one. Looks like he controls it all the way to the ground. And after Daniels with only 52 yards passing in the first half. Most dynamic quarterback in the country and the best receiver in the country. Ride from his four-man rush. Off the wrong foot, a terrific throw by Jalen Henderson and breaking free. All the way down to the goal line is right as he in. Touchdown. Now that's how you make up for dropping that ball fourth down earlier in the game. Max Wright, the former defense, breaks one tackle, breaks another tackle. And he's still rumbling and stumbling to the end zone. And here is the progressive pile on Cam of that. To try and cut the lead down to three. Oh! Henderson heading left. Lobs a jump ball in the end zone. Incomplete. Roll out. Finds the soft spot. Catch and run again from the late neighbors. Down the sideline. Stays in bounds. Malik neighbors with a flag. Unless he stepped out, we'll have to check the marker. They're going to call a... To Malik Neighbors on the set. And then as Malik Neighbors is rounding the corner, it's right there. Number two, holding, throws the guy. 28? They've just been obliterating, obliterating people. Blitz. Jaden Daniels out of the pocket. No one down the right sideline to stop him. If he gets a step, and he stumbles out of bounds. Daniels, one-on-one, -on -one, Kyron Lacey, touchdown! And don't forget about me, look at the wiggle right there. Go up, make the same catch that, that 
Link Neighbors just made on the previous touchdown. And 120 yards rushing with four touchdowns. And that's three. That's not a statement game. I don't know what is. Kane again. And I think he's got a first down. Will this one last exclamation point be enough when it comes time for the Heisman voters to make their decision? More explosive plays than 84 FBS schools.